Oh, hi guys. Mm. Need to get ready. Let's go get some clothes. What ones do I pick? I think I'll pick these ones. Hmm, I think I'll pick that. All right, guys, I'm going to get dressed. See you guys after I'm dressed. Okay, guys, I'm all dressed. As you guys can see, I'll see you when I'm at the review station. Hey, guys, Tyler Reviews here. And today we're going to be reviewing something that you guys might have not have heard of. It's called a cassette. A cassette player is one of these things that you can put a cassette in. This is what a cassette would look like. I bet people could see this before. And you put it in because it says right there, like side two and side one. You just do this. Slide it in. Close it. And then click play. <laughs> Just look at Yeah, and that's what it would do, basically. And then if you wanted to change your cassette, you just pull on that little tab, take it out, and close it up. That's what you had to do. And cassette players are what you, your parents used to use. Cassettes were really cool back then. There were no CDs. There were no um, DVDs. We'll get into those ones next. Tonight. And, yeah, this is what cassette tape is. A cassette player was basically, you could just strap it on right there. And then you could walk around with it. That's what you could do. So, journey with me into cassettes. Dun, dun. Okay, thank you guys for joining me today for this awesome adventure we're going to dive straight into. Um, so, let's get straight into it. Cassettes were released in about the 80s and 70s made for better music hearing but they had a pretty long lifespan like they still make songs for cassettes nowadays some people still use them as you can see i have my realistic cassette player so there was a lot of buttons and switches on it there was these huge buttons that would stick out and yeah, these are what cassettes would look like. There was always a side one and a side two with tons of songs on it. But it always didn't come out clear. Because sometimes it's a, it's a cassette. It would read that. And you can see by if I open this, it could read, okay, yeah, like right there, those parts could read this. That part. Which is really shocking for that time era. Like, I don't know if there's a scanner inside. I, I can't see. Um, yeah, there's no scanner, I don't think. Yeah, no scanner. But it's really weird. How do they do this magic? Well, the tape would rub against it, and it would pull the tape in. And it would rub against it, making the sound of the tape. And then it would come out on the speaker. And, like, companies would make these. Like, this one's by Walt Disney Records. So, yeah. That's cassettes. Basically, and then we'll, we'll get into different kinds of cassette players. Next, after the break. Okay, guys, we're back. So, now we're going to get into different sizes and different types of cassette players. This is our first type, 
the portable edition one that would slide open, just put it in and click play. That's the first one by Realistic. Uh, the second one is this big boy. This one is exactly the same, but this one has AM radio you can switch on. This um takes tons of batteries, as you can see. But I didn't want to waste my batteries putting it in. So I just use the cord right there. So this is can be portable. If you have batteries. But otherwise it would work exactly like it. Like you could click eject and there you put it in. And then click your play button. Here I'll give you an example. Um, open it up. Put your cassette in. Close it up. See the play button? Click that, and then it would start playing out of this huge speaker. So this was this one. This was the tuning one. And then our last one is the auto stop. The auto stop went by Panasonic. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. I bet I am. But this looks pretty cool. It works exactly the same, but it was portable, and you could record on this version, too. Like, it's a normal one, but this one's broken. It's just exactly the same. So, these went on for years. Like, at least 20 or 30 years. Before they were taken off the shelves. And then that's when the new era of CDs came out. CDs. Which we will get in, too. In a future episode, probably. So, thank you guys for watching with me. Thank you for coming on this glorious adventure. And I will see you guys in the next review. Peace!